Taurus, welcome to the in-depth version for yours and theirs. I hope you're well. I hope you are fabulous and happy New Year's to you. Cheers. Let's jump on into it. Show me what I need to see, please, for Taurus and their person. Show me what I need to see, please. Show me what I need to see, please, for Taurus and their person. Show me what I need to see, please, for Taurus and their person. We're going to start with your side of the board, of course, but like always, take what resonates, say what does not, reverse energies as it applies. Cross watchers, same. Show me Taurus, King of Cups, Page of Wands, the High Priestess. Oh, I like this. This is nice. This is very lovely. I like this a lot. I do. I do. That is very nice. Your energy is like stepping into a nice, lovely warm bath. And honey, I'm all about the warm bath. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's relaxing. It's calm. It's intuitive. Heart space is full, glorious, mature. It says, I have these feelings. I know that and I can own them. I feel comfortable within myself. I feel comfortable outside of myself. Many of you are heavily, heavily following your intuition at this time. And I say bravo to that. Page of Wands, what you're trying to open yourself up towards. I don't know, but it does represent curiosity and or interest. But... Uh, that's, that's lovely. You have a, you might have a great deal of water in your chart, specifically Cancer as well as Scorpio. It does not have to be. And it's beautiful. That is absolutely gorgeous. I love this. I really do. Let's see if there's anyone surrounding you. Six of Cups, Page of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. They want to talk to you too. <laughs> You're both showing me pages right in the middle. I'm so shy. Oh my goodness, the both of you are so shy. I like it. It's very sweet. It is very sweet, and the Six of Cups is attached to it. It is soul bond energy, I'm sure. They also represent an Ace of Pentacles, a brand new beginning, and to what? I do not know what kind of investment, I could not say. But uh, it is Six of Cups, and uh, it's looking like you two are tentatively showing each other pages. You know, you're just reflecting on each other just a little bit. Here's a page, here's a page, here's a page, here's a page. It's very sweet. It is very sweet, Doris. It is very, very sweet. It feels right to you, and it's all that I care about. So long as you are abiding by your intuition, it can't go wrong, okay? And you're coming from it from a King of Cups, lovely. This this is my heart. This is my heart. This is this is what I feel. This is who I am. And you can't go wrong with that. There's so many Six of Cups. You know them. They know you. Memories, nostalgia, time built into this. Uh, you've known each other a long time. You nick memories that are just between you and them. No one else, right? You can't go down to Costco and pick it up and replicate it. You just can't. It's a, just a unique bond that you have with someone else. And it's a pentacle. So they're showing me investment energy. They're showing me a good opportunity energy, that kind of thing. It, what's between you two is peaceful. It's calm. It's loving. And um, it's kind of shy. It's just a little bit shy. It's on that side of sweet, you know. Here's a page, here's a page, page, page. <laughs> That's beautiful. I love it. It's so fucking sweet. Oh my God. It's so sweet. Oh my goodness. Now I know. Here comes the reality. I know, I know, I know. I gotta do the shared energy. But what's happening between you two, it's it's tentative, but it's sweet and it's sincere and you're abiding by the laws of your intuition. That's all I care about. Okay, shared. Yeah, I was gonna see the real shit. Eight <laughs> of swords. Oh honey, so much stress. So much stress. Oh I just YouTube been stressing. <laughs> YouTube been stressing just just a little bit, just a little bit. YouTube been stressing. You both might be very, you might. You, I, I'm guessing the both of you probably have a tendency to overthink because you just the both of you just threw a bunch of swords at me. It's really interesting. I think you two are really trying to not communicate through your swords, um, and by that I mean the blindness, the confusion, overthinking, overanalyzing, overstressing, stress, and overanalyzing, stressing, and overanalyzing stress. You can't. You just can't. You just can't. You can't make out heads or tails in that kind of energy with somebody when you're always up here. And it's not just you. It's them, too. That both of you have that tendency to overthink this connection or get locked up in your heads about it. Gridlock. All that. Instead of injecting all this lovely, like I said, it's very warm bath energy. And, oh, it's just delicious. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. It's resplendent. It's relaxing. And that's, this is the exact opposite of that getting trapped up in our heads, not saying what we want, not saying what we're thinking, 
oh, should I say this? What if they're going to say that? Well, I have a feeling that da, 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 my fears, their fears, my fears, their fears, my fears, their fears. So nobody says anything. And then we all get trapped up in our heads. You know, we make assumptions before we even have a chance to communicate, lock stuff up. I can't say that. I can't express that. What if I'm wrong? What if I'm overstepping? You know, I, I'm guessing the both of you, the both of you have a strong tendency to overthink. You both might be terribly intelligent, the both of you. It's funny because there's so much water and intuition between you two. But you both probably have a tendency to take it to a very severe, if not critical, detrimental headspace where nothing is said what you meant to say. And I'm overthinking it, so I'm saying this when I should have said that. Why couldn't I just go with the flow with it? How come we just couldn't express? How come we couldn't just talk without a bunch of bullshit? It's fear of saying the wrong thing. Maybe I'm misconstruing it. Maybe I saw it the wrong way. Maybe I heard it the wrong way. So I'm going to, my output, okay. Our output towards each other is not matching what was intended at all. So this is the output that wreaked havoc between you two versus what you two experienced. Okay, and this is what was shared. And then I got Mr. Grumpy here. And here we have the Emperor. So you both, you both act kind of tough, right? You both act kind of tough. You both might have Aries in your chart. Uh, you both might be terribly stubborn. Am I wrong? <laughs> Am I wrong that you might be terribly stubborn? I don't know the both of you. And But I'm actually seeing this more as a control function. So the emperor feels the need to be in control at all times. He's the emperor, right? Got a lot of responsibilities riding on him. He has to make decisions for many people. You two might, both might be terribly, terribly accustomed to be in control, responsible. Feelings are an indulgence. They're for other people. But this person has a tendency to have, or the both of you, most likely, given all that sword energy, have a tendency to be very tight with your energies and your natural expression. So I'm telling you what was experienced between you two at an energetic level and the output didn't match. And thus we created some sort of chasm here. Um, so let's just start with the basics. Very emotional basics, sincerity, smallness of expression, and try to leave the swords out of it. Okay, let's try to, and it's that tight-lipped energy, I'm in control, I know what's up, uh, but it's, it's coming across as I'm afraid to look stupid, or I'm afraid to be vulnerable, and I'm afraid to say what I'm really thinking, and I'm afraid to say what I'm really feeling. Again, it's not always in the emperor's position to have that kind of luxury. For many people, they just get to express themselves all day long. This is what I'm thinking, this is what I'm feeling. Um, but that's not necessarily what you two experienced. Energetically, you did. Energetically, you experienced the ease and a smoothness with this person, but what came out was tight-lipped, confusing. We didn't say what we meant to. It was misconstrued, misunderstandings. That's a lot of miss, 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 and that's because we're overthinking what we feel. The both of you. Overview. Strength. You might have some Leo in your chart. Let's see. Let's start right there. The strength. There's that pride, but also the strength of will and fortitude to do what it is that we need to do. Very strong feelings within us, yeah? All right, excuse me. Oh. Mm. Cheers. All right, show me strength, please. Show me strength, please, for Taurus. Show me strength, please. Show me strength, please. Show me strength, please. That's a lot of pain. That's a lot of confusion. And it's all coming up from here. Our minds can wreak absolute havoc. Our minds can wreak absolute havoc, especially when we have assumptions built in. Especially when we have to be or feel that need to be in control, keep a tight face, don't let everybody know what we're doing, whether what we're really feeling. We can't do that. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> the Emperor, you know, bless him. He, like all cards in tarot, pros and cons, both sides. With a great deal of responsibility comes that sense of, well, other people can express themselves. I necessarily am not always in that position to do so. So I feel like you have someone who kind of matched you in that energy, yeah? Okay, show me strength, please. Show me strength, please, for Taurus. Show me strength, show me strength. Show me strength, please, for Taurus. Show me strength, please. The moon, page of cups, the hanged man. <laughs> oh. 
boy. Bit of a poker face you have. <laughs> Taurus and a poker face? What? I've never heard that before. That's wild. That shit's wild. Have you ever heard of that? Um, the moon, page of cups, the hanged man. He was like, I ain't doing shit. <laughs> I'm not finished. <laughs> that was you going. <laughs> I'm not laughing at you. I'm not. It's just your torrent energy is wild, man. It is wild sometimes. God, this is why you have some of the most intense cross watchers I've ever seen in my life is because of that torrent energy. It's like, I ain't doing shit and you can't make me. <laughs> That's why you have the little Taurus fan club that you do. That's why you have such intense cross watchers is because of this shit right here. Oh my God. You're like, this is, Christina, feelings right now for me are not convenient. Put that shit on a shelf. I'm going to think about it. I'm not going to feel it. No, no, no. That goes under the moon. No, no. Page of cups? No, feelings? Fuck that. That goes under the moon. We're just going to suspend that. Hanged man. I'm going to do shit with it. I'll occasionally go out there and look at it. <laughs> but we're not going to do anything. I'm not going to develop that heart space. I'm not going to express my feelings. I'm sorry. It is under active moon denial. So the page of cups is the smallest form of emotional expression. Teeny tiny. You know, and it goes under the moon. I'm not comfortable with it. I'm not trying to look at it. I'm not trying to feel my feelings. I ain't got time for that. Hang man. Mm -mm. This is literally no activity. But it's also under your strength of will. In terms of that stubbornness, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Not going to happen. <laughs> I'm not going to look at it. I'm not going to look at those feelings. I'm not going to let those feelings come out to play. I'm not going to develop them. Um... I'm just going to sit here and analyze it to death. That's what I'm going to do. Now, again, I'm not trying to make fun of you, but do you, need, do you understand how non-moving that energy is? And not only is it non-moving, it's insistence too. So that stubbornness here with the strength, pride, will, and conviction, I know what I'm doing. And this was our pride insisting upon this. I will not emotionally expand. I will not emotionally open up to this. It's not convenient. Now's not the time. I mean, you put a lot of critical feeling here because that's all water, 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 water. Under the moon, with insistence that it was correct. Um, so what's that's all? You might have some very strong Pisces in your chart, by the way, as well as Leo. What? Like you were not letting your feelings come out to play. But here's the good news: this energy is literally the opposite of that. This says I'm open. This this says I feel my feelings, and I'm happy to do so. This says, I'm listening to my intuition. If we put our feelings away, we cannot listen to ourselves intuitively. You cannot have intuition and not have feelings. It just doesn't work. It doesn't work. Intuition and feelings go hand in hand. So that tells me you are not in a position to listen to yourself. At what point, I could not say. But you were in a position where you literally could not listen to yourself. But upon your insistence, you also said, that's where I had to be. Or that's where I was. Okay. Any more backstory to this? That is so intense, man. I have no doubt that's what led to this, the overthinking, the overprocessing, the overanalyzing. Is there anything else in here, please? The Wheel of Fortune, the Empress, Six of Cups. Oh, things changed over time. So this is, this is, some time has passed. There they are. Now they're showing up again on your timeline. Not only that, it makes you feel very good. There you are. The time has passed. Time has passed. How much time it is, I don't know. But that's a lot of non-activity. And now it's starting to span out over years in regards to this connection. There was no change in your heart space. Refusal, denial, I'm not feeling that. I'm not trying to look at it. I'm not trying to understand it. I'm not trying to experience Time has passed from when you were here. Fast forward to over here now. There you are, looking very resplendent, very lovely, very you. 
with that Six of Cups again. Time has passed. You feel a lot more like yourself in this connection. What opened that door? What allowed you to accept this change and be open towards it? I could not say. But I'm telling you where you are now is directly opposite from where you came from and how long you were in that state of emotional suspension where your heart could not be touched, it could not be accessed, and you did not want to develop it either. How much time has changed? How long it took that Wheel of Fortune to shift? I don't know. I just know that it took a while. The moon, the hanged man, oh honey, that's years. This is not yesterday. This was years. So that Wheel of Fortune also took an equal amount of time when it's done spinning. Okay. And we are connected with our Six of Cups once more. I don't know. But it's looking like it might be relatively soon. We shall see. And you, for your part, feel a lot more like yourself. Someone who actually has unconditional love, who can express it, who can say it, who can feel it, who can work towards it, be productive in it, produce. Because it feels right. Let's see it. Let's do it. So, what's shared between you then? No doubt this connection was during this period and it caused this all this mental discord between you two. The overanalyzing, the confusion. Let's take a look. Show me that uh, King of Cups, please. That's beautiful energy. Are we switching or staying? Staying. Show me this King of Cups, please. Show me this King of Cups, please. Show me this King of Cups. Show me this King of Cups. Some of this can of cups, please. Some of this can of cups, please. Well, if that isn't the very definition of Taurus right there, I'm not doing nothing and you can't make me to. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I ain't doing nothing. Yeah, all right. That's fine. Well, come on. <laughs> You're a blast and a half, honey. Nine of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, the Ten of Swords. Wow. Okay, so we're moving past the ending here. Some sort of ending. It could be, again, since there was so much heavy sword energy between you and this person, it's looking like a natural graduation at this point. Eight, nine, ten. So this had to come to an end. Okay, this this had to. It was leading up to this. Again, it's looking like you emotionally were not in the position nor were you interested in exploring in the expansion of your heart space. It's like, I can't take that on right now, nor do I want to with strength. That was a certain will of conviction to not only bury your feelings, but keep them down under. I'm not looking at it. It can just, it can just wait. Whatever that is can just wait. It can stagnate. It can just sit there. That's fine. And no doubt that's what lended to all the mental stress between you two. Okay, now it wasn't just... You, it was them too. You both experienced this to some extent. And it was what led up, no doubt, into that cultivation of a Ten of Swords. And slowly but surely, you have been moving your energy forward. Is that Nine of Pentacles where you're just now starting to wake up a little bit more in terms of that Ace of Wands exploratory. Exploratory, I'm feeling a certain level of inspiration. I have moved past this ending. It took a long time. The pain, whatever that is, between you and this person. So how long you two have known each other, I don't know. It could be upwards to 12 years, honestly, with that six and six energy. Uh, it could be more. It could be less. It doesn't really matter. There's a lot of time built into it between you two, but you just were not in a position to open up towards it. It was there. It was there. But it didn't take. It was there, but it didn't take. And now you're like, well, I'm opening up now. Slowly but surely, I took my time, as you want to do. And I kind of did things my way. You know, I needed to wake up towards my energy. I needed to move towards it. I needed to navigate towards it. And I took my time. And now you're telling me you're in a much, much better position to feel your feelings with the King of Cups. I mean, you cannot be a King or Queen of Cups and not have a fullness of heart and be aware of every nook and cranny of it. Now, these are my feelings, and I know them very well, you know. Back here, you weren't trying to know feelings. You weren't trying to expand upon them. Mm-mm. Two, things have changed. And you were opening up towards this. And I do see the ending behind you. And pain. As you get reacquainted with the spaces of your heart. Let's take a look at this, this little page of wands. Some of this page of wands. 
Show me this page of wands, please. Show me this page of wands, please. Show me that page of wands. Show me that page of wands, please. Show me that page of wands, please. Show me that page of wands. Three of cups, queen of cups. There they are. There they are. There they are. There they are. You got a matching sweet mate, honey. The king, queen of cups. You two are a lot more alike than you know. I dare say by the time you reconnect with them, they will not recognize you. You're very different. You're very different than when they last knew you. You'll be reconnecting with this person soon. I will, of course, try to do a time check. Heavily water orientation does not have to be, but Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Like I said, you have some strong water in you, too. Uh, you'll be opening up towards a reconnection with this person. And it's looking lovely. It's it's shared and it seems to be reciprocated. You're at least putting it forward as your page of wands. It's again, it's a form of interest and it's small and small and it's like you're saying hi, hi, hi. <laughs> but it's a beautiful hi. It's beautiful. It is lovely. It's, it's small, but it's considered. It's manageable. Okay. Uh, whoever fits this particular profile is who I see you reconnecting with, possibly rejoicing with. I don't know. I will, of course, do a time check, but... Nine of Pentacles, someone of strong will, someone of independence, freedom. This is me. This is what I can do. This is what I'm about. This is the guard of my own making. I'm very comfortable with who I am. They're showing me queen. You're showing me king of cups. So you two are showing me that you are much more familiar with your hearts than when you last saw each other or when you last knew each other. Again, you weren't in that position. So when that wheel of fortune takes place, I'm terribly curious about that because, again, that doesn't just happen overnight. No, no, no. Not where you were coming from, honey. Strength, the moon. The hanged man? Oh, no. That took years. That took years where you just weren't in a position to emotionally expand and you weren't trying to look at it either. But your heart space is shifting towards this person again. Six of cups. I'm going to say again. Because again, by the time this happens, you will not be the same Taurus when they last knew you. You'll be very different. But yes, we're reconnecting with this person. Show me your intuition, please. You will be a very different Taurus. For when you last reconnected with this person. Show me. Their heart space towards you, as far as I can tell, is quite soft. Show me the High Priestess, please. Show me the High Priestess. Show me Tauruses. Intuition, show me towards this intuition, please. Show me the high priestess. The magician, you can feel yourself manifesting. You're making the decision. Seven of Pentacles, you're telling me it's time. It was a long time coming. You are choosing to manifest and acting through the principles of intuition. Very good. Beautiful. Slow and steady, you're telling me. Slow and steady through feeling and through the correctness of my manifestation and the principles of my intuition. I am going to cultivate this thing. I want to. It's slow. But um, that's your energy saying, I'm developing this. Just in my own Torian way. We're putting some work into this. We're making the active decision to communicate and to bring more into this. There's roots here developed between you and this person. I mean, duh. Six of Cups twice, obviously. That's an easy call. But what I mean by the roots is, is that it was growing to a certain point. And it has the potential to grow more. You know that. Otherwise, you wouldn't be looking at it. What they represent is love. Someone who can match your emotional frequency. As the King of Cups, they're the Queen of Cups. It's beautiful. I see you two talking. I do. Let's jump on over to their side. Show me this person's energy, please. Show me this person's energy, please. Show me 
this person's energy, please? Which one? Show me. Show me the Six of Cups, please. Show me the Six of Cups, please. Show me the Six of Cups. Show me the Six of Cups, please, for this person. Sword, Eight of Wands, Chariot. Ooh. Yeah, they're showing me nothing but love towards you. Uh, movement too. They have a lot of movement surrounding their energy. Is this this is someone who kind of feels things quickly? That it comes from a level of confidence though with the King of Swords, so I trust it. Uh, someone who knows themselves, they know their mind specifically very well, and they seem to be very acquainted with their feelings. Um, they want to communicate outwards towards you. Okay. Uh, a feeling of movement, moving forward. They already kind of know this about themselves. Okay. The uh, King of Swords, a very strong sense of self-awareness, and this person's very familiar with their emotional processes. Um, they know this about themselves. They might be very intelligent. They might be a little bit more on the analytical side, but I do know this, they have a big heart. And their energy is a little different from yours in terms of speed. They, to, they do tend to think fast and then also move fast, okay? And that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just you two have different speeds, that's all. There's a little slower, a little more contemplative. I need time to recover. I hurt. I'm not in the position to feel. I'm not in the position to feel my feelings. Therefore, I'm not going to. There's this like, oh, I know things about myself. <laughs> I think fast. I move fast, but... And then they also have a tendency to communicate possibly very fast. I don't know. I just know that they are very much willing to talk to you. They are very much willing to talk to you. And they're showing me a great deal of, I know I have feelings for Taurus. They already know this about themselves. It's kind of after the fact. They've known this for a very long time. So the swiftness of their energy is such as, whew, that's my thought. That's my feeling. Those are my actions. <laughs> They're kind of decided like that. They already know that they have feelings for you. This was never a surprise to them. And um, they've communicated that to you to some extent with the Eight of Wands. Yeah, there you go. Um, their energy is kind of unapologetic. <laughs> I, they really know their mind. And they really know their heart. They're not confused at all. Uh, you two, as far as I can tell, just have different speeds. That's all. So with that kind of sharpness of mind, it might seem that they feel feelings too quick or too fast, but they already know what they're like. It's like, I know what I'm like. I feel strongly for things. I've made up my mind about it a long time ago, something like that. Didn't I see that for you? No, that was Leo. That was Leo. I made up my mind about you a long time ago. It's kind of like that. Mm. Page of Cups, please. Some of that Page of Cups, speaking of which, right there on the split. Yeah. You also opened with strength. So, if you have Leo in your chart, that one was a little complicated, the last one I did for them, but they had someone around their energy that was very similar. I made up my feelings for you a long time ago. I chose you a long time ago. And if it's a soul bond, that's true. The inexplicable connection, you know, it's like it defies demographics, it doesn't care about age, race, religion, background, ethnicity, it doesn't give a shit about any of that. Soul bond is a soul bond is a soul bond. You know? Show me that page of cups, please. Show me that page of cups. Show me that page of cups. Show me that page of cups, please. Show me that page of cups, please. Queen of Swords, they have a heavy analytical mind, don't they? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. This person has a very strong mind. Very intelligent. This person thinks a lot. So I can kind of see where you both lended to this. They're a heavy thinker, but they're also a very strong feeler. And they're intuitive. Well, that's a good thing. 
Intelligence and intuition should be side by side, ideally. One should not be forsaken for the other. Common misconception in the spiritual arts. Oh, it's the, only the intuition that counts. Mm, well, you're also a living human being, which means you have a responsibility for knowledge. So you should both be strive to be intelligent as well as intuitive. Again, one should not forsake the other. This person tries to walk a fine line between both what they know, intellectually speaking, and what they feel intuitively. Um, they've rested on you a great deal. They've thought about you a great deal in their private time. In their quiet time, in their down thoughts, they think about you a lot. Page of Cups. They think about their feelings for you. Four and four energy, there might be something significant with this person around April, does not have to be. Forty-four. Four, four. Four point four. I know I've seen that before. I know I've seen that before. Could be this person's age, but... I don't know. Regardless, they think about you a great deal in their private time, their downtime. They think about their conversations with you, but I'm telling you this person is showing me heavy sword, water, air, water, air, water, air. They understand they have feelings for you. They understand that they think about you in that respect of, um, these are my feelings for Taurus. These are the conversations I've had with Taurus. This is what I'm reflecting on. This is what I'm learning on when it comes to Taurus. Um, and they also think about you in that respect of relationship energy for wands. Um, they understood that something was there or could have the potential to be there. And also in the reverse, it, it, could there be something there? I don't know. But they say they're willing to find out, so they're talking back to you. Um, in that respect of I don't know what necessarily I have with Taurus, but because the walls of that Four of Wands are fuzzy. That's why they think about it. But I feel like something could develop or... Um, the soul bond between us is enough. Something like that. So yeah, they're talking back to you. They are. An effective communicator. And they might put a lot of their emotions forward. Okay? They might put a lot of strong feeling towards you but they know this about themselves. And if you know that about them, and that's acceptable to you, then there you go. They represent the love that you didn't want then, but you do now, or you will, in time. I don't quite know how long it's going to take that Wheel of Fortune to spin. But it is indeed spinning. Ace of Pentacles. Show me that Ace of Pentacles, please. Show me that Ace of Pentacles, please. Show me that Ace of Pentacles, please. Show me that Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> That's very specific. We tried to sneak away from manifesting, but you ended up coming back to this, despite the fact that you tried not to. But here's the thing, we don't want to be friends. We want love. Okay, a little back and forth there. I'm going to go ahead and take a moment to correct that. Okay, Ace of Pentacles. Show me that Ace of Pentacles, please, for this person. Show me that Ace of Pentacles, please. Show me that Ace of Pentacles, please. The Emperor. Strong-willed energy. Three of Pentacles, Five of Cups. <sighs> this person has kind of a poker face in that respect of yes, they want to kind of work with you. But they have pain. They have sadness in them. It's coming across the guise as I, I can work with Taurus, I know that. 
What else? I need to push past this energy, please. Aries. Doesn't have to be. Explain it to me. They are interested in restructuring with you. That's true. And they are willing to make the investment. However, show me this five of cups to the three of pentacles, please. Two of wands, the empress, the stars. Okay, they're showing me, yes, they can work with you. They know this. They can expand with you. That's true. They know that too. That they can collaborate with you. Yes. But there is a pain in this person that resides in that concept of I don't want friendship. Their energy is very honest about it. They don't want friendship. There you go. They don't want friendship. Uh, they want they want you. They want the best of you. You're showing a two of wands. So are they. You're showing me it feels good to be with this person. They're saying it feels good to be with you too. There you are again. That you are a desire to them. A dream. A hope. And they want to look out upon you and see you in the world in your best form, your fullest form, your most productive, loving form. What they don't want is something they can just kind of get along with and work with. Otherwise, they're saying, yeah, I'm willing to invest. I'm willing to invest in you so long as I get this view. I, I don't want a working construct. I don't want to be friends. I don't want to collab. I... I want the best of what Taurus has to offer. That is my hope. That is my dream. That is my wish. You're pulling in at a similar level. But it's at a slower pace. So it is like you two are trying to tune into each other's frequencies. Um, they're saying to me point blank, yes, I can be an opportunity in Taurus's life. I actually have a lot to offer the Ace of Pentacles. However, what is not acceptable to me as Emperor, their energy is kind of firm about this is friendship. Otherwise, I'm just going to have to mourn that friendship because it's not what I want. So the energy here is conditional. They're saying they want the best of you. They want the best of what you have to offer. That is the dream, their hope, the wish, and that um, any sort of sense of friendship will be ruled out. They're kind of firm about that as emperor. Otherwise, other than that, like I told you, they put a great deal of thought into this and they know exactly what their feelings are for you. And that's why they're telling me friendship will not stand. Just because they know how to get along with you doesn't mean that that's what they want. They don't, wor they don't want a working construct. Okay? They want the best of what Taurus has to offer. They see that in you. They know that you can. They know that you have a lot to offer. So whatever it was that was back here that was unacceptable, okay, getting all up in our heads about it, not being able to effectively communicate, overthinking shit, the most basic of feelings of emotions, we are trying to suppress that energy, and I believe you both are. Theirs is very firm, though. They might have some very strong areas in their chart, or they could straight up be areas that says, I don't want friendship. I, I'm, I'm making that clear. I want the best of what Taurus has to offer because I desire Taurus very much. That's it. So, if that is something that is acceptable to you, and perhaps one day, it might well be. Then you two can proceed. For now, let it be enough that you two reconnect. Start there. Yeah, they have really no hesitancy, do they? In their feelings. For you, this situation. The only thing that they don't like about this situation is that they don't want to call you friend. And they want the best of you. They do. They know what you can be. They know what you stand for. They know what you can do. That's what they want. That's the only time I see them kind of draw a line in the sand when it comes to you in the connection. Is that firmness and it's non-negotiable in their eyes. It cannot be friendship. It has to be more. And then I can give the best of my Ace of Pentacles to you. Like I said, they, they know what their feelings are for you, and they're quite strong. And through your eyes, it might be too fast. But what might be too fast for you, 
from their point of view, might be too slow for them. It works both ways. Yours is slower, theirs is faster. That doesn't make either one of you wrong. It's just, uh, can you find rhythms? Let it be now for these pages. That's enough to be getting on with. Reconnect. Okay. Get more of some of that simple, sincere, sweet emotionality out. Reestablish the connection. You, for your credit with the High Priestess, you feel that you're supposed to be pulling this in. You feel that you should be making decision towards it. You feel that you should be cultivating this. Good. The intuition will serve you well. Their Ace of Pentacles, they're saying, I have a lot to invest in you. I have a lot to invest in me. I only have one condition. Give me the best of what you got. They want the best of you. They want everything that you can be and that you are. They have a strong mind, strong will. And in between all that is a whole lot of love for you. Again, I will point out you weren't in the position to receive it in the past. And it's changing. Show me the shared energy, please, between these two. Okay, show me the shared energy, please, between these two. Show me the shared energy. Oh, yeah. All right, shall we combine these? That looks like a whole bunch of fun right there. Eight of swords and nine of swords. Oh, boy, doesn't that look fun? It's <laughs> a lot of mental activity. I can tell this person is a thinker. And they're telling me they've had a lot of time to think about you. Their feelings for you specifically. They're also very familiar. Their feelings, this is what's interesting to me. They say their feelings to them are not a mystery at all. They know exactly what they think of you. They know exactly what they feel for you. And they know exactly the best of what you have to offer. And they desire the best of what you have to offer. Part of you must know that. You must know that. Otherwise you would not be wanting to reconnect with this person. They represent love in the best of intentions. And your intuition is saying, develop it. Pull it in. Manifest it. Develop it. Make it yours. If you two really want this, you'll figure out each other's rhythms through intuition and a feeling of expression as opposed to overthinking. I've got to see that Wheel of Fortune, bro. Sis. Show me the Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords, please. Show me the Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords, please. Show me the Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords, please. Show me the... Okay. That's you. That's the hair font. What's up? Mm-hmm. It's on your mind now, even as we speak. It's very sweet. It's on your mind now, even as we speak. As I speak. The 26th, 27th, 28th might be terribly important. I already saw that on your baseline. I was going to remark on it later. But yes, I'm seeing repetitions of the twos, most likely in reference to the new year. 26th, 27th, 28th are fairly prominent dates of what month I could not say. Back to my point, it's been on your mind for some time. The decision, the decision is within you to communicate. You, Eight of Wands, Two of Wands, Judgment, Six of Pentacles, Two of Cups. The decision to communicate, it is your decision for some of you, yes. It's a balance in the name of love, Two of Cups. And there's the High Priestess again. Highly intuitive. Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords. Let's just go ahead and get that hot mess sorted. Show me that Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords.
stars, desires, hopes, knight of cups, ten of swords, you know. Honey, there it is again, that ten of swords. I told you it predated. It, we went from an eight to a nine to a ten in this connection. So that's stress, pain, anxiety, stress, pain, anxiety, stress, pain, anxiety between two people. The swords represent communication as well as our thoughts. This is an overwhelming combination of those two things put together in a smorgasbord of nonsense, pain, the inability to effectively communicate between you two. That's it. To it got to a top out point. We went from an eight. <laughs> that's already bad enough. Let's go ahead and throw down a nine. Oh, let's make it worse. Ten of swords. Well, fuck. Pain, potential ending here, the desires. And here's what uh, the irony is. This person, they've already showed me the star, the hope, the wish, the desire that is you. They very strongly desire you and everything that you represent and everything that you stand for, that you feel in love and your way of life. It's like, I want that part of Taurus, right? There's the star again with the desires and the hopes and the Nine of Cups. The both of you wanted to emotionally expand outwards, but it got caught up in this mess of eight, nine, 10, pain, confusion, misunderstandings, not effectively communicating the most basics of emotionality, the most basic form of emotional expression, the most basic forms of desires, hopes, dreams, wishes, wants, expectations of something that's further out that requires more vision that is the stars. So not only did we not effectively communicate our immediate upfront emotional needs, we failed to communicate our long-term needs too in terms of, this is what I want. Oh, well, that's what you want too. This is how you see me and feel me now. Well, maybe this is what this could look like in future. I hope so. Yeah, me too. We couldn't do that overwhelmingly. Neither one of you. It's not about faults here for either one of you. It was shared between you two equally. It's almost an equal division of beauty potential love and opportunity and a whole bunch of failure to express all of it. Both the upfront. Mm -hmm. Well. Stop, stop, stop. It's like, no, seriously, shut up. No, stop, stop, stop. And then also the long term. So that Knight of Cups is that lovely, emotional, romantic, special, sweet nothings that you share with just that person. It's that romantic language that you feel inspired to impart upon someone else. So that's the immediate upfront and then the long term. You know, we failed to express even our biggest desires. You know, dare I sound cheesy. We saw the stars in the other person's eyes. We didn't say it. Thus, the pain was born and the division. And it all comes down to communication, which I will point out was the problem. Therefore, it's the solution. Usually it's one and the same. Mm -hmm. We are manifesting. King of Wands. No, no, the passion's quite alive. You feel it still. Anything in this cornucopia of swords? All, the, all they're doing is showing me the problem, honey. And even the fact that you two move at different speeds, this person's very aware, very self-conscious of their feelings towards you. They've even expressed it to you at some point with the Eight of Wands, so that means you have pre-existing knowledge of this person's feelings towards you. And it took longer for you to get acclimated to yours and express that you two just weren't in a position to exchange fairly, openly, and easily. Okay, that's, I can kind of see where you're coming from and you wanted to, you wanted to pull forward, but it took a long time for your energy to catch up to what it was feeling. Okay. Things are changing. Things are changing. Things are changing. Okay. Things are so very, very changing. But as far as I can tell in a good way. Yeah, the passion remains. <laughs> you know, and that's one of the things that confuses us still to this day. How can it feel so strong? How can the passion come in at such a huge surge like that? It confuses us. It overwhelms us sometimes. 
you know, we just, we kind of have, I'm just going to call it for what it is. You both felt very, very high in each other's companies. Like, you know, it, it, it did. It just, it felt that simple, that gratifying and that overwhelming at the same fucking time. So we took it to, again, a confusing space, the two of pentacles. I can't really be feeling all that at one time. <clears throat> No, fuck no. That can't be what's happening. Yeah, that's what happened. So I'm looking at both of you that when you two were in each other's proximity, it was like, um, it was just chemical connectivity that was flying off the charts. You two are recognizing each other in that respect of, damn, we feel good in each other's company. We light up, we glow around each other. It's, it makes us feel silly. It makes us feel stupid. We show off a little bit. You know, we're flirting. We go, oh my God, the surge of passion. And then it gets overwhelming, especially again, Taurus, honey, because you weren't in the position to, it's like, to be, fuck that. This is what I'm feeling and I'm sticking to it. No, your heart wasn't open. It just was not open in that space. But you wanted it. You felt compelled towards it. You kept pulling towards it. It just took you time to get here to that lovely full King of Cups energy. And again, I'm not trying to put it off on towards you. They had to have recognized on their part that you weren't open. So they so unabashedly expressed their emotions to you. They so unabashedly shared their mind with you. Okay. Knowing that your energy was much further behind than theirs. So they had consequences in this too. They communicated things to you they, they knew you weren't ready for. But they shared them anyway. Okay. They knew that you were several paces behind them. But they shared with you. So they probably said too much, felt too much, too fast, too soon from your point of view. But to them, it was honestly a reflection of who they are. Okay. But the communication breakdown stands, despite all that. I mean, again, if you weren't in a position to receive it, the communication was going to break down. Show me. Show me the emperor. Again, I'm not putting it off on you. I'm just saying where your heart space came from. Show me. The Emperor, please. Show me the Emperor, please. Show me the Emperor, please. And for cross watchers, let's do be careful with our comments. I don't want to hear anything about, well, if that Taurus would only blah, blah, blah. That's not how life works. If only anybody did anything under our desires, wishes, wants, and expectations, I probably wouldn't have a job. Not as a tarot reader, not as a counselor, which was my previous profession. It's just not how life works. Nobody can just anything. Life is what it is. If we really want it, we go towards it. That's it. No excuses. No bullshit. Sometimes it takes us a, fig a while. Time to figure out that we want it at all. And that it's meant for us in this, and that we want the simplest of things to connect with that person who fills certain spaces in our heart. So, I don't want to hear that. If that Taurus would just X, Y, Z, if they would just open up, nobody has to do anything. That's life. Nobody has to do anything. So, if it does not suit, break away. Because no one's obligated to do anything and you can't make someone. That's it. Two people either want to connect and make it work, make it happen, or they do not. Show me the Emperor, please. There it is again. There they are again, I should say. The Nine of Pentacles with the Page of Swords. Okay. Oh, goodness me. Oh, what you doing? <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. There you are. Tower, Nine of Pentacles, King of Cups. I got two heads of state talking. There we go. Got a little bit of surprise. We got a little bit of surprise here, but yeah, we're gonna have a healthy exchange, I believe. The person. They're showing me a lot of consistency between water and air. Okay. Okay. In case there was any confusion here, the both of you are emperors. Yeah, I suspected as much. So <laughs> Willful, stubborn, but I will say this. Um, they had very strong feelings, and they know that they still do. 
They've already thought about it. As far as I can tell, honey, they only have one demand, and that's, I don't want to be friends with you. I want, I, I know. They're saying, I know what Taurus can do, and that's what I fucking want. That's the only stipulation in their energy. They want the best of you. They're not saying you have to commit to them. They're not saying you have to get married tomorrow. What they're saying is, I want the best of Taurus. Show me that. That's their decision. You still represent a lot of unrequited hopes and... Oh my. Tower. Nine of Swords. Seven of Wands. We have been resisting change, the both of you. It's hard to get out of our heads sometimes, the both of you. And that's what you both needed to change. Radical change there. You both uh, needed to get out of your heads and stop being so commanding and stop trying to control so much. Stop trying to control so much. Allow the energy to flow. Okay. That's it. Yeah. It's a working construct. Yeah, we have a King of Wands here, Three of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles. You're not telling me this is Earthian energy here, very strongly so. This is part of the process. This person told me they're going to reject any premise of friendship. They said they don't want that. They said they want the best of Taurus. And I do believe it's you that's countering. Okay. King of Wands, my passion, my intensity, but for the Earth energy, it has to start somewhere so it can build upwards and outwards. So you're showing me Pentacles, not Three of Pentacles as in friendship, but as in the sense of let's start here. And let's build outwards. Okay, so again, very earth-oriented. I don't think you're trying to offer friendship to this person. You have too much passion behind it. You're saying, let's start here. And let's build outward. Okay, on that foundation, let's make something solid. Let's make something stable. However, I am going to put my passion into it. You're working through it, literally. That's the only thing they ask for is non-friendship. I want the best of you. And you're kind of like, okay. All right. But can we do this at a reasonable pace? <laughs> <laughs> which I saw over here. You still want it. Your intuition's guiding you. There you are in the split again. I think that about covers it. Honestly, let's... This, I don't know how far this reaches out. This isn't like I'm reading for the next couple of months. I really don't know how long this process is going to take. There they are again. Okay, okay. There you two are. You both have softened your energies. There's their head. There's that mental energy they have again. Goodness me. They have such a strong heart, but an equally strong mind, honey. I'm telling you, when they say they know what their feelings are for you, I fucking believe them. I really do. They have no confusion, no hesitation. And I think that's one of the things that weirds you out about this person. It's like, how can they know that much? How can they be so determined? How can they have that kind of knowledge at the upfront? Right? And you're like, it took me forever to get here. <laughs> <laughs> that's because not everybody's speeds match up. That doesn't mean you're incompatible. That just means that you two have to find your own particular rhythm. But the biggest thing that impedes your rhythm and discovering that energy together is simply the communication. Coming back to, we get caught up way too much in our headspace about the simplest of emotions, so the whole thing shuts down. Ten of swords twice. But it wasn't over. It wasn't over. It was just one more representation of back here and in that delay period, you know? I wasn't ready to cultivate. 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 I wasn't looking and I wasn't trying to look. And it's like sometimes these things, they happen so sharply and so intensely with this person. It kind of freaks me out, so I shut it down, right? Because you have such huge energy spikes with this person. But if your heart's not open and if it's not ready to be open, you're only going to be able to take this kind of energy you're receiving so far. So I know from your point of view that it's weird that this person can have such a strong mind and such a strong sense of how can they possibly, how? How can they have those kind of strong feelings for me and actually say that? I'm nowhere near where they are. Yeah, well, that's the thing. It's not your mind, is it? <laughs> and it's not your heart space, it's theirs. They said they love you. They can back it up. 
They believe in it themselves. They showed me absolutely no confusion, no hesitation. The only time they showed me pain at all is if it's under the concept of friendship, as she said, they cannot abide. It's the only time their energy kicked in and said, mm, on this point, I am insistent. That's it. That's it. So, let's check out this Wheel of Fortune where you are showing them the energy. The best of the Taurus they've always wanted to see. Let's show me that Wheel of Fortune, please. I don't know how long this will take. I'm just, like I said, I'm just happy that these pages are happening. We're going to be reconnecting with this person. Um, and it's more so in line when you are King of Cups and they are reflecting back to you that water space easily. Let's go ahead and put these over here. When do we open up towards this, please? When do we open up towards this, please? When do we open up towards this, please? You know what it is? It's like it's not even... It's like the cell phone towers went down. You know what I'm saying? It was just an energy overload between you two of overthinking, not saying what we meant to say, getting it all screwed up in our heads and nothing coming out the way that we wanted to or meant to in terms of sincerity and emotional frequency. So the cell phone towers just got shut the fuck down. You know what I mean? Um... Because they pick, I'm not saying everything's going to be sunshine and roses, honey. What I am saying is that there is more sincerity and emotionality speaking through this than when you two last saw each other. Like I said, you're not the same Taurus they're going to recognize. You're more the version that they wanted to see, you know, that they knew was there the whole time. And I will point out to you, I've got a couple of matching sweet mates, the King, Queen of Cups, the Emperor, the Empress. Okay, in this respect, you have been the Empress. And I do believe they have very strong uh, aspects of the Emperor. Sex is irrelevant. Tarot, it's about the energy exchange. Um, I think you two are actually quite well matched in just a couple of things. Speed. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. You know? Honey, some people are sprinters and some people are long haul runners. It's looking like you two are a combination of the both, which great. That means you know each other's strengths and weaknesses. That's all. Okay, here we go. We've made up our minds about that Ace of Wands, eh? Very good. Right back here. What about it, please? See that quick? No shit. I got it. I got it. Can I get an idea of when that might be, please? And here you are. You two are talking now. Oh my. Look at that interchange. Look at that interchange. Look at that interchange. When, please. If I recall correctly, I believe the queens are technically 14 in tarot. Honey, it could be tomorrow for all I know. I don't know. When do the lines of communication open, please? When do the lines of communication open, please? The High Priestess, smart ass. Whenever you feel it's right. <laughs> this is literally whenever you feel it's right. <laughs> the High Priestess in judgment. And then Taurus, honey, whenever you feel it's right. <laughs> whenever you feel innately that it's right and judgment calls your decision. Whenever you feel you can open up towards it, for some of you, literally the 22nd, does not have to be. Uh, some references here to the Piscean energy, which is uh, uh, late February, late March. And um, it does not have to be, though. It's, it's again, hearkening back to you, the High Priestess. Whenever you feel it is right, and you can give this in your own energy, make the active decision to kind of carefully cultivate this again at your own speed, which they've told me they have no problem investing in you or having some sort of construct with you. So long as it's not in the vein of friendship, that's it. They, they want the best of you. I think the idea is, is so long as they see your best qualities that are more like you, okay then that's enough for them. They otherwise have a lot to offer. And you're kind of like, okay. 
All right. Passion's behind it. So the idea is it's just a little bit more than the friendship. It's a real working construct that you're showing energy for. But yeah, whenever that Ace of Wands, those pages open up, it's really under your discretion. Whenever you feel it is best, you will use your intuition and a sense of judgment. Or literally when you feel the timing is right. Um, whatever that means to you, honey. Whatever that means. And as I told you, for some of you, the 14th might be terribly important. If you have Sagittarius in your chart, there's something in there for you. Um, their power number is literally 14. 14 reduces to 5, which is your power number. Look for the 14th, or 14 in the general sense. I even said the queens are technically 14, I believe, in tarot, I think. You'll feel when the timing is right. You might start seeing 14 like crazy, though. Yeah. <laughs> As I said that. <gasps> okay. Thanks, Spirit. I appreciate you. Uh, typically, Ace of Swords, whenever I say something and then I see the Ace of Swords, it gets dropped or it's on the split. It's typically... Yep. Okay. Uh. Oh. All right. I'm just surprised by the time. I received complaints, Taurus. And Taurus complains that's serious business. It was funny, though. It's a compliment, in my opinion. Uh, your last message was short. It's actually under an hour. I know. I know. It's crazy. Why is that message under an hour? Do you love us, Les? Of course not. Don't tell you the collectives. They'll get weird. But you're one of my favorites. Okay. Your hard work is paying off New Moon and Capricorn. There is something brewing in you. We are exiting as we speak, as I am making this message. Yes. Your energy is brewing now. Whilst we are under the new moon in Capricorn energy, we will have full moon energy in Cancer uh, January 6th, which is great. That's an excellent time for reconnectivity, forgiveness, reconciliation, olive branches, white flags, um, understanding, trying to reconnect under the banner of understanding and emotionality. Uh, so that is kind of building for you. Some of you, yeah, now in the new moon in Capricorn, you're just starting to feel that energy build in terms of, for some of you, possibly reconnecting. I'm not saying you're doing it tomorrow. What I'm saying is that you're feeling that energy now. I don't think you're necessarily acting on it, but you're feeling more and more inclined. Okay. A win-win outcome. Yeah, I agree. Full moon in Libra. Um, a win-win outcome is in the forecast. In other words, you both can win. If you two can match each other, not match, but find the compromise between your two energetic balances. In that respect, I think you two harmonize actually quite well. Um, it's just you weren't in a place to openly receive this kind of energy, not from where I see, not from where you were coming on, but that's changing. And even if you were on the full open end of receptivity towards this connection, let's say, let's, honey, take strength, the moon, the hanged man, let's take that shit off the table. Okay, let's let's say that was a non-issue. Let's say we connected with this person and you had a King of Cups heart space and you were ready to roll. Okay, let's say you were that Taurus. Eventually there was going to have a tension or friction between you two simply because your paces are different. And I see different pacing all the time. Yours is a little slower, but it's no less sincere. Um, theirs is, oh, I, I know. I know. I've been knowing. <laughs> I'm telling you, they have a sharp mind. And their feelings are extremely familiar to them. Like, they know their feelings and their mind like the back of their hand. Okay. And so in that respect, from their point of view, they may not understand your pacing at all. 
especially if they understand the bond between you two, which is fairly pre uh, prevalent with a Six of Cups twice and the High Priestess twice. I mean, you both have a very strong feeling for each other. Let's make that clear. But your pacing styles is different. It's neither right or wrong for either one of you. It's just how you both are. So it is kind of imperative, and I kind of agree with you on this point. As the King of Pentacles is like, yeah, okay, I'm not talking about friendship. I am, ta I am talking about, however, steady building with my energy and enthusiasm in it, no longer surpassing the Page of Wands and into a full-on King of Wands, which is even better. So there is a much st stronger sense of steady building here from your point of view. And uh, they're like, so long as I'm saying the best of you and not friendship, we're cool. So I have every reason to believe that when we say the win-win outcome, yeah, you two just need to find a rhythm, rhythms with each other. It's not just about what they need or just about what you need. You know, eventually you two are going to hit some sort of energetic crisis regardless just because your movements are different. That's it. You know, other than that, you two are well bonded. And um, you're actually quite a bit alike. You really are. Luck is on your side. New moon and Sag. Very good. Somebody might have some very strong Libra. Uh, Sag, as well as Capricorn. Do you know I just recently found out? This is wild. Wild. I have never bothered to calculate my midheaven before. And one of my subscribers brought it up. I was like, I bet you have Capricorn in your midheaven. He was right. I couldn't believe it. I never bothered. I never bothered because my chart is so... <laughs> My birth chart is so undiversified. It is literally these components. Scorpio, Aries, Sag, Libra. That's it. <laughs> right? So I have... N it's so highly concentrated. <laughs> it is so highly concentrated. I never bothered. I never bothered. Even my Lilith is in Libra. Right? Never bothered. North Node, Leo, but eh, okay. But my Midheaven is actually Capricorn. Isn't that crazy? I always went, I have no earth in my chart. I have no earth in my chart. Where do you think that fucking persistence comes from? I'll tell you what. That's me. I don't have persistence. Work. 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 So if you have some Capricorn, check that out. It's pretty wild, man. That's really cool. Yeah, but new moon and Capricorn, that energy is now. And it's building up for you. Win-win outcome is in the... I was like, I have no earth in my chart. I have been saying that for years. Come to find out, I actually have a little bit of earth. Oh yeah. In my midheaven, which explains so much. Okay. That's wild, man. We did that. We did that. We did the moonology. And eh, let's see if there's something in here. I think we can wrap it up, though, for us. I just want to say, you know, good luck to you and your person. You two actually have quite a bit to offer each other. There is a wealth of feeling between you two. It's just never really been allowed to be expressed. Um, and that was the major, well, that was the major traffic jam, wasn't it? That eight led to a nine, the nine led to a ten. You know, and you weren't in a position to be open towards it in the past, but now you are actively trying to pull it in. Okay. That's it. Too many doubts. Oh, lack, regrets. Pluto, mind your Pluto sign. Well, Pluto is, um, so Scorpio rules Pluto as well as Mars. They share Mars with Aries. So that's a lot of transformative energy there. So mind your Pluto placements. Okay. There is too much of a sense of lack, of regret, repression. We couldn't feel our feelings at the time and we kind of... We had too much doubt. We had too much doubt about the readiness of our feelings and our ability to receive the feelings and being open towards them. And we regret that. We do. We had too many doubts about ourselves and what it is that we wanted. Okay. But even you can change. Even you can change, honey. Alchemy. Yes, you have it within you to change. To allow yourself to be guided by your ancestors and that internal voice that navigates you through the world. Some of you have very strong ancestor guides that are with you. You just may not know it. Know that if you see a feather, that is them speaking to you. Action. We talked ourselves out of taking action because we didn't know how to stay in the present. 
It was a form of self-sabotage. We had the idea of the Ace of Wands here. Ace of Wands, the new beginnings, the full energy. We couldn't allow ourselves to stay in the present. We talked ourselves out of it. It's okay. I that's just honey, that's just life sometimes. That's just life sometimes. And if this person is so open to you as their energy suggests that they are, they'd understand this. Okay. All right. I don't I yeah, yeah. Q. That one just done flew out. Q. <laughs> I don't know. Q. Oh my. Arrow, I was going to say, sign of Sag again. If you have Sag in your chart, I really want you to pay attention to that. You have more luck than you know. You do. Okay, where are we? I'm sorry, let's do the initials. So we have Q, G, N. Intuitive, yes. Someone is marked very strongly with intuition. It's looking like the both of you, I believe. And then also more representation of that Piscean energy. I'm seeing it more as the time frame as a possibility, as I saw over here. Big Dollar Bill, that's you. Mm hmm. That's you, Virgo Capricorn Taurus, but specifically you. <laughs> Taurian energy, you have luck in you. I just don't think you're used to capitalizing on it. So that luck energy, the four-leaf clover, Sagittarius energy, okay? I'm just kind of going with that feeling and I'm going to allow myself to do it. That's that Sagittarian energy. It's like, I'm just going to strike out and see what happens. It's looking on your side. You have more luck in you than you know. And I think a big part of that feeling gets suppressed for some of you in that sense of doubts. The hot air balloon pulling up higher into the sky so you can see the activity below and see what's going on, the patterns, the recognition. And there's that seahorse again. Put more Piscean energy. There might be some critical stuff happening around February. I don't know. Delicate. Full of emotion, but delicate. Tentative shy. V. Excuse me, V, as in victory. And then dog with the bone, the anxiety. Yeah, there was a shit ton of that. Couldn't miss it. Okay, Taurus, I hoped this helped you. You let me know as you see fit. I just want you to know this person is highly compatible to you. You know, you were in a space of not being open to development, not in the emotions. In fact, you were almost stubbornly insistent about it. And then I'm telling you that wheel of fortune, no matter how slow, has eventually put you in a position now where you feel like it can be more like you and represent more of who you are and what it is that you're able to do. This person sees it in you and that's what they want from you. And you want to show more of your authentic self to this person. Not because you feel like you have to, not like some sense of obligation or responsibility, but because you genuinely want to. Otherwise, again, you wouldn't be making the efforts at all. It is up to you when you choose to express yourself outwards towards this person. I just know that it seems to be happening. And um, when you do, there's a little message. I got two people saying hi on the midline. There is rejoicing. It's simple, it's sweet, and it's easy. So let's just take it from there, okay? You have a better idea of what it is you need to do. They have a better idea of what it is to ask for and what to expect. Again, you two need to find your rhythms. They go like this, you're more like this, so. Like that, okay? Now you slow down, let you catch up. Like, okay, now we're doing the happy dance. That's enough. Put in the comments as you see fit, honey. Take care, be well, and Happy New Year's to you once more.